what it do. Jack boy, what it do? Making great music, what it do? Big Mimi, what's up with it, man? Peace and blessings. Uh, FBM, what up with it? GGC803, what up with it? Honey, what up with it? What up? Salute, 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 salute. Jack boy, what's up, man? What's poppin', Reg? What's poppin'? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how we do this shit, man. We just have a church with this shit, man. So look, if you got a question, ask me your question at the bottom of the screen. Everything love. It's all love, man. It's all love. You know I can't complain. Screw. What up with it, man? BTA, what's up with it, man? Yeah, man, it's cool, it's smooth, you know what I'm saying? I'm having a good day. I can't complain at all, man. Staying out the way and staying in the way at the same time. So dig this, man. If you got a question, drop your question at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to try to answer your question to the best of my ability, you know what I'm saying? A lot going on in the world, uh, a lot, especially with the politics and shit, man. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Who y'all feeling? Who y'all voting for? I want to know. I want to know who y'all voting for. Y'all voting for Trump or y'all voting for uh, Harris? What's good with it, man? I'm, I, who y'all voting for? We want, I want to know who y'all voting for. Y'all voting for Trump or y'all y'all voting for Harris, man? I want to see some answers. Reg say Trump. Okay, Reg. So you voting for Trump? I want to see your reasoning as to why, and if y'all vote for Harris, I want to see your reasoning as why. Not voting at all. Hey, man, vote for the Southern president, man. I wish I could run it for you, man. I wish I could run the whole country for you, man. For real. For real, for real. Kamala, okay. Okay. I want to hear y'all reasons. I'm just interested. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about what I feel about this shit. I just want to hear y'all reasoning. You know what I'm saying? Max O'Trill, what's up with it, Pippin? How you feeling? Trump, because he knows what to do. What's up, he keeps speaking that real shit. You know I got to, man. It's a full-time job, man. You know, it's a shortage of real shit in the world. Yeah, man. Shout out Max O'Trill, man. What's up with it, man? Just call me six. What's up with it, beautiful? How you feeling? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I can't complain at all, man. If I were to complain... I would be doing uh, the most high disservice, so you know what I'm saying? I'm just staying in the way and out the way at the same time. Unbreakable, what's up with it? Ayoki Dog, what's up with it, man? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually just came to Dallas. I was in Dallas, uh, shit, this past weekend, man. It was brief, though. I just had to come down there and do a podcast, and, and I got jumped back on the... On the motherfucker plane and got back here. Yeah, Aoki, what's up with it? Peace and blessings, beautiful. How you feeling? Um, real spirit God said I'm not going to vote because neither one has our best interest at heart. So look, I just hope for America every day and God gives just this. You feel me? Okay, okay. Kamala got momentum, better poss policies, let women be great. Okay, okay. Uh, ability A1, well, what's up with it, man? I've been asking everybody, um, I've been asking everybody, um, what they feel between Trump and Harris, you know what I'm saying? So I've been asking everybody what their opinion is, who they voting for, and, uh, you know what I'm saying? If they, uh, if they got any reasons as to why they put it like that. So, you know, if y'all fucking with Trump, let it be known that you fucking with Trump and why. And if you fucking with Harris, let it be known why. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm interested to know. It ain't my business. The universe is my president. Okay, I can dig that. Six. Six say she only she only fucking with the universe, man. She ain't got no part in the shit. Seven six oh daddy, what's up with it? Fetty Dior, what's up with it? Uh, TB TBT, what up with it? Yeah, man, you know it, man. No one stop mashing, applying pressure, and putting it in their face. You know how I do it. Uh, can't say that I think that just maybe that shooting was staged, maybe. Hey, I've I've had quite a bit of people 
that have said that they felt like this shooting was staged. And in my opinion, when I first um when I first seen it, you know, I felt like it wasn't, especially since they said somebody died, right? But my stink thing still is like, how the fuck ain't shit wrong with this man here? Like they show that man here a day or two later. Ain't shit wrong with that man motherfucker here. So I'm still trying to figure out how do it, how was it blood at the time? And then after that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like ain't no motherfucking blood, ain't no motherfucking nothing. Just everything cool. That shit crazy as fuck to me, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all drop y'all opinions on that. How y'all feel about that? Um, second, I want to know how y'all feel about the fact that, um, you know, Trump had a, uh, a, a last term, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not it wasn't even a scar. Um, Trump had a last term. I didn't raise his fist. <laughs> hey, and again, I ain't telling nobody who to vote for. We just having a conversation, man. We just having a conversation. Just call me six. Said the sacrifice is a sacrifice. Red said, I believe he was shot. Y'all read say I believe he was shot. And and, and and I ain't knocking if he was, you know what I'm saying? I think we all just like man, if he was shot, where the hell was the, the why why shit went wrong with this goddamn earth? You know what I'm saying? Uh fake assassination, no scar. So you know, if anybody on here has a valid reason why they think he didn't have a scar. Uh, I think other people on here would be willing to hear it and or debate it. Uh, okay. Pee Wee said Trump should have never been president. Just call me six said maybe his money is long enough to buy a new ear next day or two. <laughs> Man, y'all play too much. Six, you a motherfucker. Uh, oh, man, it's crazy. Do your thing, man. Get you a shirt then. Uh, Sun C, what's up with it? How you feeling, beautiful? What's popping? We ain't had Sun C in there in a while, man. Y'all let me know if y'all think Sun C should come back on her. Sun C, let me know when you're ready to get back on her, man. We're going to bring you back on this motherfucker. Just call me Six. You a motherfucker. Though. You is a motherfucker, man. Curly Head 384 said, where you from? Now, how you follow me and you don't know where I'm from? I'm from Memphis, man. Memphis, Tennessee to be exact. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Yeah, 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 man. It's been a minute, man. I know the people miss you, man. You know what I'm saying? Six saying, hey, what's up? You dig? Destiny, one, two, three. Peace and blessings. Pee Wee. Uh, Young TDS. Rich Penn. We've been just on the topic. Of um, if, if people want to vote for Trump or Harris and why GW Corday, what's up with it, man? Peace and blessings. Brands to go, peace and blessings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I use the state of myself and in the shade. Well, you know, I, I just I just try to make people think. You know what I'm saying? In a positive light, we got so much negativity that um. You know, I think it's good for people to have a space to be triggered by thought. And so when I speak and, and I just share information or wisdom or things that I have been through, it just be really to honestly uh, help people and make people think and, and, and hopefully some, you know, learn from some of the shit that I didn't been through. And sometimes it's just a small conversation in general because... I know we in a time where people are very opinionated and, and, and we be opinionated to the point where motherfuckers literally be getting really mad. Like, motherfuckers be really angry about this shit, especially topics like politics. So, you know, I just want to give people the ability to, to, to speak on their mind and I ain't finna tell a motherfucker if they right or wrong. But, you know, I want to hear what y'all thinking. Red says Trump is a good choice but not the best choice. Okay. Sunsi said, it seems like when he was in office, things were better. He did what he said, and he helped black people get even more money, to me and my opinion. Okay, so do y'all agree with Sunsi? Uh, How many balls you been to? 
how the trophy of the year go. I've been to a few of them in my lifetime, man. Probably at least four or five. Um, you know, you got to put the work in. You become player of the year, you got to put the work in, man. You got to be one of the ones that people talking about who making noise, who making a name for themselves and really doing it the right way. And if you're doing it the right way, you know, people going to talk about you. Your name going to ring bells. Not just in your city, but different cities. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get considered. Now, winning, that may be a different story. You know, usually you got to know somebody. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and, and the people don't want to got to know you and her about your resume. But you put the work in and you, you, you shaking hands with the right motherfuckers and you really doing it how you say you're doing it. You know, you get your time. You'll get your time. Uh, pack boy freestyles. The police, the police steal punks and robbers. It's still guilty until proven innocent. Then take no contest. I stay to myself. Slime for the blues. Reg. Sonsi said if I had to pick, it would be Trump over Kamala. Uh, Red said Trump used to come to the ball. J Cuts V, what's up with it? We discussing uh if y'all would rather fuck with Trump. Or if y'all would rather fuck with Kamala. You know what I'm saying? Or if you just ain't fucking with nobody. If you ain't fucking with nobody at all. Snowcat, what's up with it? We on the conversation of Trump or Kamala. How y'all feeling about that? And what do y'all think about that? You know what I'm saying? Um, I know a lot of people don't like politics. Ain't into politics. Don't um like the concept of politics. But it's like, you know, we got to have these different conversations so that we could all shed light on, on who y'all feel like is the better uh, person for the job. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times it ain't necessarily about, you know what I'm saying, any any candidate being perfect because there is never a perfect candidate, right? But all we can do is uh pick out of the best that we got and say, well, I think this person will probably do the better job, or this person is more qualified, or this person has a better resume, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, do y'all feel like the last time that Trump was in office, that he, like, like the country ran well? Um, do y'all feel like uh, since Biden and Kamala have been together, the Trump, the, 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 the country has been worse? Um, and also another thing I want to say, I think a lot of times people don't put into consideration that the last time Trump was in office, you know, it was a significant amount of money given away to, you know, like a lot of us because of the pandemic. A lot of us was fucked up during the pandemic and then all of a sudden, you know, the, 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 the money was starting to be given out because we was fucked up and in the house. So I want y'all to also take into consideration that when you give a bunch of money out and then that person who was the president isn't the president anymore, the next people have to make up for the debt. So that's why a lot of people end up getting locked up. A lot of people end up going to jail for bullshit because, you know, everybody was finessing and doing the PPP thing right before Trump left. And, uh, you know, that money that was given away it was a lot of debt made because shit, everybody took the free money, but everybody didn't do what they were supposed to do with the money, which puts the country in fucking more debt, right? So, how do y'all feel about the situation we in now? How do y'all feel about, you know what I'm saying, who's better next? Like, I really want to see, you dig? For sure. Exactly, it was a damn pandemic. <laughs> It's a damn pandemic, man. They had no choice but to give fucking money out. Also, who do y'all feel like was the reason that we even had a pandemic? You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do people even think about that? Do people even put into perspective that was the first time we had anything even close to that in a hundred years? So I know, like, a lot of people tend to forget those times because of... Uh, you know, now we back to regular life, so to speak. But I definitely remember a time when motherfuckers was in the house, couldn't go to work, complaining about the fact that they couldn't work. You know, they couldn't barely make their bills. And then, boom, you know, 
some niggas, niggas start getting some free money and then you know how that shit go. Motherfucker like, well shit, this shit ain't that bad. But um, I also know a lot of lives were lost. A lot of people had sick family members. Um, I lost a few family members and it was a hell of a crazy time. So, you know, I want to know what's y'all perspective on it. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know looking back now, it's easy to just be like, you know what I'm saying? Well, I got some money, so I wasn't tripping off of it if you got some PPP money. But um, I know other people could look at this situation totally different. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take the money. I think it was stupid to give the money out, okay? I think it was a germ warfare, okay? Um, but he aiming for a specific source of power and people within that power. Uh, Altacus 16, what's up with it? Sir BCGJ, what's up with it? He is a talent to be reckoned with. I worked for him. Yeah, so true. Salute, salute. I'm trying to say, give it, give it time to observe Trump. He took from the rich and spread it equally, Matt, evenly with the rich, okay? History in the making. Trump is the chess player, take out the game, one move. Trump has real street access in the trenches. Oh, man, no problem. Somebody said thank you for all the game. Uh... Sunsi said, who you going with? Man, I, 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 I ain't going to even speak on who I'm going with. Just because I don't want to think anything I'm saying is to sway anybody's opinion. So my whole reason or not, you know what I'm saying, saying I'm picking this person or that person is because I know I'm very influential when it comes to speaking my mind. Like, I know I can say some shit and it gets shared a bunch of times. And they got a bunch of views and motherfuckers be like, oh, you pick, you know, so, hey, you know what I'm saying? I know how I feel about each candidate. Each candidate is flawed. I do know that part. And I do know it is definite, definite things that I don't agree with on, on, on both sides. But what I will tell you is one of the main things that I ain't fucking with, I am not fucking with for sure, the concept of that Black Lives Matter shit happening. And then the idea of police getting immunity. That I'm not fucking with at all. So out of anything so far, thus far, that to me is like a straw that I can't I can't let break the camel's back. You know what I'm saying? On both sides, it shit I ain't feeling. But man, I can't in no shape, form, or fashion agree with police having the ability to kill any race of people beat up any race of people whether it be us black people white people mexican people chinese people i do not respect uh the possibility of police doing what the fuck they want to do and then they can't they ain't got to go through shit they ain't got to answer to nobody like i can't i can't fuck with it you know what i'm saying well, it's easy to say. I know what you're saying. It ain't as simple as it sounds, but it doesn't matter how simple it is because police been having immunity basically hundreds of years anyway. So whether it's law or it ain't law, the problem is they don't need any more new power because they've been getting away with shit the whole motherfucking time. So if you're telling me that they already been getting away with a bunch of shit for a hundred 200 300 however many years and then that a policy is 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 gonna be fought for for them to get away with more regardless of whatever stipulations come with it it's not cool it ain't cool they already we already been that, that was the whole purpose of the black lives matter movement to put more restrictions on them. so if we're saying we're gonna put less restrictions on them regardless of how you put it it ain't cool know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's no way that you can tell me we had a whole motherfucking movement during the pandemic, and somebody gonna say, well, the best thing I think to do is let's do less to the police. That you can't make sense to me at all. There is nothing you can say to make this shit make any possible sense. Now, 
y'all could take away whatever you want to take away about, you know, candidates after that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, man, come on, man. Ain't nothing you can tell me when it comes to that part. Like, a lot of that other shit, we can debate. We can debate about if uh, uh, the, 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 the world has been worse or the United States has been worse off since... You know, dealing with Kamala and Biden, we can debate if it's been worse off since Trump got in there. You know what I'm saying? We can debate it if it matters to you if Trump got impeached. We can debate if it matters to you if Kamala was is is black or not black enough. Yeah, that's all this all this shit is debatable. What's up, Beach Bunny? How you doing? I had just uh I had just reached out to you. I hope you got my message and you seen that I finished your pain. And uh when you get a chance, you know you get do the rest of everything and, and, and send me over what you need to send me over so I can get it to you for sure. You know what I'm saying? I got you. But yeah, we just talking about um, Trump or Harris and people's opinions. But again, you know, that's, that's my only thing. I don't know how if... Is it anybody on her that agree that the police should have immunity in any capacity? I want to know, like, because if you do, I'm not knocking you. Like, I'm not going to get mad or nothing at you. But uh, I'm just wondering, does anybody think that that's okay? Like, in any capacity, does anybody on her feel like, hey, I think it's a smart move for the police to have uh, immunity? You know what I mean? Uh, Big GP said yeah okay so can you tell us why do you think after black lives matter after all the years of police killing people hitting people and being able to get away with it why do you think immunity would be the smarter move at this point i would like to hear i'm, I'm waiting to see this message Cause again, like I said, I ain't you know I ain't trying to argue with nobody or nothing like that. I just want to hear your reasoning. If you think it's better for police to be able to have immunity, I'm an elevator. What's up with it, baby? I meant to say y'all just seen you bought a badge. Salute, much love to you. You know I fuck with you. Yeah, that's that, that's just interesting to me, man. Um, he a death sentence, all the P's and D boys. Okay, okay. Nick94418 said they should not get away with it. Scotion with the potion. I'm still, what's up with it, man? I'm still waiting for him to give him never give me that response. Cause he said he cool with it. So I'm trying to see. If any and if anybody else is cool with that, you know, let me know. Like again, like I ain't here to judge you. I just want to understand your reasoning. I want to understand your concept. Because maybe you have a, a, a reason that that's good. That I, Maybe I ain't aware of. Maybe you can enlighten me. It's not just police. It's other government officials also. Okay, they didn't answer the question though. The question was, why do you think police should have immunity from beating people up or killing people in any capacity that is what i'm asking i'm not asking if it's also for other government officials okay that's that's okay so that means that's immunity for police and other motherfuckers okay that's not the point my question is why do you think that would be a good thing after all the people that have gotten killed beat up shot hurt whatever by the police in our lifetime why would it be smart to also then give them more immunity after all of the things that they've already gotten away with make that make sense to me yeah I'm trying to figure that out Tyra what's up with it man trying to make a living and better their lives yeah make that make sense Gotta push up a who the Gersha one day to to get it cold. I ain't who the Gersha. I don't know when. Uh, it's a bad thing for everyone. Yeah, cause I, I'm I'm not making it just about police hurting black people. Like uh, any people, cause you know police 
obviously is 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 black people the most. Like that's not debatable. But I'm saying I didn't see videos of of, of of Mexicans getting hurt. You know, all kinds of races getting hurt, right? And these folks not end up going to lay down. These folks not losing their job. So if shit like that already happens, why would the answer be to give them more immunity? If police been getting away with beating up on people for years, I want to know from any of you, why would it make more sense to give them more leadway to get away? Please, anybody, anybody. High traffic and hustling traffic and it's mandatory death. Sentence if Trump win. Man, yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I'm from Coral Pepper, VA, and see if you need police immunity. No, they can't get that. Not cool with coming at the blacks either. Yeah, man. Like I say, man, I just, I just, I just want to know. I still haven't gotten one answer, though. And again, police get shot at too. You this for okay, but that wasn't the answer. The question was not if police get shot at, right? The point is, the or the question rather is, even though police get shot at too, why does it make sense for them to have more immunity? Police have gotten away with things for years. This is the point. That is the whole point of the Black Lives Matter movement. We need to tighten up on the police because the police have been doing shit and getting away. That was the whole point. So if after the movement, we say we're going to do more to help the police get away, explain to me how that makes logical sense in any way. We're not asking if everybody gets away with things. That is not the point. I'm waiting for an answer. Why does that make sense? How is that logical? If we have said, uh, exactly, it don't make sense. Can, 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 exactly. If we've been sitting here complaining year after year, damn, here's another video of someone getting shot who had their hands up. Here's a video of a man dying because it's a knee on him. A knee is in his back and we're watching this man with a knee in his back for nine, 10 minutes. And we're saying basically, a law will be made for people like that to consistently have immunity despite that type of shit. And it's been happening over and over again. Why would that make any sense? I'm just I'm just saying, like, why would that make any sense? No, a motherfucker can't answer that. You and, like, and then he answered my question with a question. Am I pro Black Lives Matter? That's a question. I'm asking you for an answer. A an answer. Ain't been one answer to say, hey man, I think police should get away with hitting and harming people like they've been for a hundred years more because that is what I'm looking for. Because of what? For conservatives, it makes sense because it maintains the social order they have upheld since slavery. That is exactly why. Exactly. So th that's what I'm saying. So for people with any kind of morals or decency, I'm trying to see how it makes sense. If you, you can't, it's no person that can tell me that they pro-black or they pro-human uh, rights and then tell me that they want to see the police have more ability to get away with harming people that doesn't make any logical sense i'm making it a blanket statement no i'm not i'm asking a question that hasn't gotten an answer <laughs> i've been very direct you know what i'm saying i'm not making a statement i'm asking a question that that only requires a simple answer hey this is why this is why police should be able to continue to do what they've been doing for years which is do shit and not be held accountable police been been hurting people shooting people harming people 
year after year for generation after generation and not being held accountable. We can go back to the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever generation you want to go to, and that shit been going down. So I'm trying to figure out why would that make any logical sense? Nah, I'm not interested in debating on my live. All you got to do is type. Just type. Just type and say an answer. Just say, this is the reason why. It's not hard. If it were me, I would be able to give you an answer instantly. I ain't finna dance around the answer. I'm speaking facts. Everything I'm saying ain't debatable. It's factual. This ain't my opinion. This factual. I My question was, I say, hey, listen, I'm not saying if I'm for Trump or Harris. All I'm saying is one thing I know for sure I'm not with is the idea of police having immunity or having even less prosecution after we didn't had a whole Black Lives Matter movement of people saying, hey, look, the police need to get prosecuted more. So if the whole goal of that situation was for police to get prosecuted more, how would it make sense for someone to come in and say, nah, the problem is they've been getting they, they need to get prosecuted less. They need to be able to get away with more. How does that make sense? If they've been getting away with, if police have been getting away with hurting people and killing people for years, why would now be the time to then say, eh, you know what, the, pro the problem ain't the people that's getting hurt. The problem is the police getting hurt. The problem is the police going to jail. The problem is the, po the police need immunity. How does that make any sense? It make exactly, it makes no sense. Not one person can make sense of it. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't make sense. Exactly, it don't make sense. You got in on that since we can't debate it. No, listen, my God. I'm not mad at you at all. I'm just not interested in debating. All I'm asking for is an answer to the question. Which shouldn't be hard. The same way you type in everything, the same way you just type, you got on that since we can't debate it. All you have to do is type a answer. Type why. Type a one sentence or, or ten sentence answer as to why you think it makes sense for more people to get horned by police and then someone say, hey, you know what? You should get immunity for that. How does that make sense? Just answer. And if you can't answer, say you don't have an answer because you didn't said everything but an answer. You didn't say this is a blanket statement. You've said everything else. You've said police get hurt too. You've said None of those are answers to the question, though. The question is simply, how does it make sense? Why would it be the right move? None of the stuff you have said has, has been about that. Come on, man. That's all I'm saying, man. Sheesh. It don't make no logical sense. And, I'm, and again, anyone who can make it make sense type your answer at the bottom but I ain't seen one person tell me how it made sense no 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 not you Beach, Beach Bunny it's been plenty of people like you who said it don't make sense yeah you, Beach Bunny you, you own the money everybody else said it don't make sense but one person so I've been asking the one person if it makes sense to you explain like just type why you think it makes sense and we still ain't got an answer we've been waiting on the answer i know for 10 minutes i've been waiting for an answer as to how it makes sense police should be able to do their job without being sued for minor irrelevant reasons not violent reasons so immunity for that yeah but the but that's the point is the immunity isn't just for that you you just watch what happened to George Floyd. You watch what happened to many of people. So what we're saying is is police not having immunity. Like police been getting away with shit. That ain't nothing new. 
the biggest problem in America has not been it's a lack of police getting away with shit. It's way more stories of people getting hurt, shot, and fucked off by the police than it is police getting the worst hand on the on the shit. So the concentration should be on let's make sure the people are straight. Let's make sure the people get prosecution for when they get hurt. That should be number one on the list. Not let's make sure the police straight number one on the list. They been straight. It makes no logical sense. I watch what happened to Sonya Massey under Kamala. Under Kamala and Joe. What did Kamala and Joe have to do with the police that was there at the place doing what the fuck they wanted to? It had nothing to do with it. You watch you watch George Floyd, what happened to him under Donald Trump? What does that mean? The, the, whoever's in office has no control over what the what the police chose to do that day. They're not there with them. What they do have, what people do need control of, is trying to figure out how to get these states to have laws that hide the motherfuckers that do this shit to them. And that is the problem. That's where we're speaking about now. The laws have to be set up to where motherfuckers get held and get some happen to them for doing what they do to people. That is the problem. So if presidents come into office and they like, nah, the problem ain't the people getting hurt. The problem is the police getting hurt. That makes no logical sense, champ. It's no way in which you can make that make sense. Yeah, it's a lot of cops that shouldn't even be police. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, stop it. So, to be tricky, there is qualified immunity does not technically cover those sorts of violations if you're actively violent. But, the, but this is the point. Police have been getting immunity, whether it's been qualified or unqualified, for hundreds of years. So, what I'm saying is, that's not the problem. We didn't have that, that's, that's not the main focus. We just had an entire movement around the globe, not just in the United States, for people in support of the idea of, damn, the police keep killing motherfuckers. Right, that, like that's been what this shit is about. So what I'm saying is, why at the top of the list, one of the number one things that a motherfucker saying they gonna fight for is police immunity. Why ain't the top of the list, hey, we got to do something about these people who keep dying. If we just had a whole movement based on police hurting motherfuckers, why would at the top of the list be, hey, bro, what we need to focus on is the police who getting hurt. Man, get the fuck out of here, dog. If a motherfucker tell me that shit makes sense, you playing with yourself now. Like, at this point, now you got to be playing with yourself. It ain't too many more ways I could break this down. So unless a motherfucker don't got any common sense, I don't see how this, like, I don't see, you see what I'm saying? I'm not putting nothing at the top of the list. I'm telling you what policies that he's made important. If you, if you pay attention to the politics and if you pay attention to his presidential debates, one of the number one things that he speaks on is how the police have been treated unfairly and they need immunity and he gonna fight to make sure the police have the ability to have more rights and they can get away with more things. That's like none of his number one things that he's on. Between that, the Mexican border, the shit with abortion, these are topics that are at the top of his list. Like this is not me in my feelings, these are facts. So all I'm saying is, whether you, wherever you feel that it's on the list, the fact of the matter is, why is it even on the list of priorities at all? If it's plenty of cases, we got case after case after case after case of person that we. Shit crazy as hell, man. I'm just saying. I'm asking a very simple question. Still ain't got an answer. Still ain't had one motherfucker make that shit make sense. Hey, bro, it's real smart for him to, to say 
it's more immunity for police. That makes perfect sense after Black Lives, after a whole movement of people saying, yeah, we need to have police accountability. That is complete retardation. We have a whole movement based on police need more accountability and then the next motherfucker to come, come try to run for president. Make no sense. I ain't saying if you if you want to vote for him, that's fine. Like I don't personally that shit that's on you. But the question is, do you agree with that policy? Do you agree with that state of mind? Do you think that that's smart? Do you think that that's intelligent? And if you're telling me that you think that's intelligent, then I have to question your intelligence. That's all I'm saying. If you're telling me that that's intelligent. I have to question your motherfucking intelligence. That's all I'm motherfucking saying, man. But anyway, it's been a blessing to be on here. We're going to upload this live, man. You know, I always love tapping in with y'all. Unfortunately, I got some other things I got to do. Till next time, game for